how to create a button to clear cell formatting in Microsoft Excel. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this advanced Excel tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a button and then when you press that button, your selected or predefined data range will remove the cell formatting, okay? But your value will be intact. It won't remove your values, only it will remove the cell formatting. Let's get started. <laughs> So this is the workbook I am working on and most of the time I have to copy data from online. Let's say I'm going to copy this data range here. This data has certain formatting with it and if I paste it in Microsoft Excel, the cell formatting will be here also. And now if I want to remove the cell formatting only keeping the value, I'm going to create a macro here so that I can remove this cell formatting okay i want to assign this macro with a button so first let's create the macro here and my data range is cell a1 to cell d11 okay so click on the developer tab if you don't have developer tab here you can check out this video after clicking on the developer tab click on visual basic then click insert and then click mojo now you will have to write a simple code here and here you will need to write the data range my data range is cell a1 to cell d11 so it will remove the cell formatting of this certain data range so our code is ready simply close it and now we are going to create a button here so click on insert and click on shapes select the shape and I'm going to write clear format here design your button according to your need and I'm going to keep it this way so our macro is ready and our button is also ready and if I right click here you can see we have assigned macro if I select here you can see clear format this is the macro we just created and if I click OK and simply click on anywhere of your worksheet okay our button is ready our macro is ready now if I click here you can see all the cell formatting has been removed but your data is here okay now I have already showed how you can create different buttons to assign macro you can check them here you can add a button in the quick access toolbar or you can even add a floating button and all these tutorials are listed you can check them here this is what I wanted to show you thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial if you have any question leave a comment if you like this video please share and subscribe thank you thanks for watching